As Minister of Education, I am a strong advocate for professions such as teaching because we know that the quality of your educational experience is very much dependent on the quality of the teaching that is delivered and offered in our schools. And so I have, from the very beginning, been advocating for um, the civil service to look at the provisions for teachers and um, the remuneration packages, the structure, the hiring practices. These are all things that, unfortunately, as minister responsible for education, it is not within my domain. This is very much within the area of the civil service and as governor and deputy governor really being the head of the civil service. So I've been in constant dialogue with them and I have asked and, and, and have, they have given a commitment to look at the situation with respect to teachers and how we can improve that system in order to improve their lives as well as improve the prospects of ensuring that we have and we can attract capable and competent teachers and we can re reward them accordingly for um, good and excellent performance and likewise for performance that is not necessarily up to par that there are appropriate sanctions as well. So um, this is something that, as I said, as Minister of Education, I will continue to advocate for very strongly that our teachers need to be given the, the latitude to teach as well as being given the ability to live um, and to, to afford to pay their bills, so to speak. And I know t it doesn't just affect teachers, but obviously as the minister responsible for education, that is the one area that I will be continuing to advocate for. And I do have the support of my colleagues in government with respect to looking at ways of addressing the situation. And I'm looking forward to getting a proposal from the deputy governor and from the chief officer to really look at addressing this long-standing issue that is within the civil service as it relates to teachers.